It ain't easy being a compact hatchback, outsold by your sedan kin, upstaged by compact SUVs. Despite America's less than fervent appreciation for compact five doors, at KBB, we celebrate their efficient, affordable sporting pragmatism. In that spirit, we gathered four great examples and hit the road to help you discover which best suits your needs. We'll start with the freshly hatchbacked 2017 Honda Civic. Imported from England, our Honda Civic Hatch Sport Touring Trim Tester embodies the smartly sorted excellence that's made the Civic sedan Kelly Blue Book's compact car best buy since, well, nearly forever. Ranging from just north of $20,000 to nearly $30,000, all Civic hatches feature a 1.5-liter turbocharged engine teamed with a surprisingly good CVT automatic, replacing the standard six-speed manual transmission included on the base and sport trims. During our test, we logged roughly 30 miles per gallon. It's on the low end of the EPA's fuel economy estimate, but darn good considering the speedy nature of our test route. For the record, go with the CVT and the EPA highway figure tops out at 40 mpg. Also, choose either the Sport or Sport Touring trim, and the engine will pump out an extra 6 horsepower. Fun! On the cargo front, the Civic Hatchback boasts a class-leading 25.7 cubic feet behind the rear seats, accessible through a wide opening. Drop the seats for extra bulky loads, or leave them up, and even leggy car testers won't voice complaints. They're saving those for the soup at the lunch spot. Elsewhere, supportive seats, a neat adaptable center console, and fab outward visibility do wonders to distract us from the annoying knob-free design of the available 7-inch infotainment system. For best results, use the steering wheel controls. That'll keep your hands where they can generate the most vehicular fun. Superb in the city, adept on the highway, and an absolute blast to drive, all while offering outstanding resale values, the Honda Civic is a hatchback for all seasons, metaphorically speaking. If you need a hatchback for literally all four seasons, look no further than the all-new 2017 Subaru Impreza. Standard all-wheel drive has long been the Impreza's trump card, and that's still true, but all-weather sure-footedness is now bolstered by a comfortable ride, a refined interior, and generous passenger and cargo space that nearly rivals the roomy Honda Civic. With its softer handling, hardier curb weight, and comparatively underwhelming horsepower figure, the Impreza struggled to keep pace during the racier sections of our test route. Conversely, the Impreza shined on the freeway with a well-hushed cabin, accommodating seats, a sprightly and intuitive infotainment system, and accessibly priced driver assistance tech, including adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. Making the best of the engine's meager output is a standard continuously variable transmission that works well, but not quite as transparently as the Civic CBT. The manual transmission is available on lower trims, but brings with it a major hit to fuel economy, though. So, even with the CVT, better fuel economy can be found elsewhere in our test. Where the Subaru Impreza does stand victorious are resale values, contributing to a five-year cost-to-own figure that's among the category's best. In the hatchback world, there are quicker, more thrilling options, but if you like a low profile, appreciate day-to-day -day livability, or if your sweet active lifestyle demands it, the Subaru Impreza is a satisfying, responsible choice. Speaking of more thrilling options, here's the 2017 Mazda Mazda 3. I will never get over the redundancy of that name. As we all know, Mazda engineers their cars with driving fun in mind. True to form, the Mazda 3 hatchback reigns as the driver's choice in our test, narrowly edging out the similarly joyful Civic hatchback sport. Serpentine roads are a great use for the Mazda 3's spry nature, but that agility blends with good outward visibility and tidy dimensions to make the Mazda 3 a deft urban commando as well. Whether gunning to the next stoplight or emerging on the freeway, our car's 2.5-liter engine hustled. Given its 29-horsepower advantage and minor 2 mpg highway deficit versus the base 2-liter, the 2.5-liter engine gets a hearty thumbs-up emoticon from us. At the same time, overall fuel economy clocked in just shy of 27 mpg, landing at the low end of our car's EPA rating. Reinforcing how seriously Mazda takes driver involvement, nearly every Mazda 3 hatchback trim is offered with a 6-speed manual gearbox standard, though for best fuel sipping results, choose the 6-speed automatic. With all this fun, surely there's a catch. Well, kind of. Rear seat accommodations are tight, wind and tire noise are noticeable at speed, 
The otherwise intuitive infotainment system does not yet offer Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and the Mazda 3 sports a higher than average 5-year cost to own figure driven by lower than average resale values. Cargo space behind the rear seat also trails the more wagon-like Impreza, but reckon with the three's limitations and you'll find much more positive than negative, including gorgeous styling, a modern and premium feeling interior, and a range of available safety features like lane keep assist, blind spot warning, and dynamic cruise control. Despite its rep as a party animal, the Mazda 3 is mature and sophisticated enough to sustain a long-term relationship. Rounding out our test, we have the 2017 Chevrolet Cruze. Let's talk about its strengths. For laying down tons of miles, the Cruze's gentler ride and quiet cabin pay big dividends. We also really like the infotainment system for its easy-to-read icons, simple operation, and contemporary phone integration. Where our praise cools is in this region right here. While perfectly usable, compared to the other three vehicles, Chevy's storage hold is the smallest of the group. Same story with the rear seats folded. Put those seats up and you can fit two adults, but once again, the Civic and Impreza are much roomier. The interior also drew some complaints for hard materials and unsupportive seats. On paper, the 1.4-liter turbocharged engine seems weak, but that paper also shows a 177-pound-foot torque figure. In practice, we found the engine's output perfectly adequate, and we definitely appreciated the Cruise's 32 MPG combined rating, though the Honda Civic does top that number while generating more horsepower. It might not dominate any particular category, but if a supple highway ride, top-notch infotainment, and buying American top your priority list, the Chevrolet Cruze might be the right place to invest your hatchback dollars. And that's a pithy look at our 2017 compact hatchback comparison. A much deeper dive into our five-door discoveries can be found at kbb.com. Just remember, these days, it's hard to buy a bad car, but it's easy to buy the wrong car. If you're in the market for a hatchback, or really almost anything on wheels, Kelly Blue Book is here to help.